Jez, congratulations on signing your first professional contract for Crystal Palace. How big a moment is this in your life? I think it's a very big moment in my life, something I've been working towards since I started playing football and I'm just happy and grateful that I've come this far and just want to keep pushing on. It's been a great season for you, it feels like it's just gone up and up and up, starting with the 18s and then scoring for the 23s, training for the first team. What's been the, the key behind your progression this season? I think just being consistent all the time, um, working hard off the pitch, doing my like, gym work, just focusing and just keeping focused because I know I want, where I want to get to. And you grew up in Southwark, didn't you? Yes. What was it like there when you were growing up? It was quite tough at the start because you hear a lot of knife crime going on, you don't want to be outside for too long, too late, but you just got to be focused and not get caught up in that lifestyle. I guess football helped with that. Yeah, football helped a lot, out all the time. Even when weather's not good, out with my friends. So yeah, it just helped me a lot. How did the move from Chelsea to Palace come about? What happened? Um, when I was 16, I wasn't able to get a scholar there because I was too small at the time. And then I went for a trial for other clubs, Sheffield United, Brighton, Watford. Fortunately, didn't get in there and I came to Palace and everything clicked. Who's your coach at first at Palace? I had, my first coach was Paddy McCarthy and Darren Powell. Yeah, they were good, helped me a lot, teaching me different things because coming from Chelsea, you're always on the ball, you don't really have to work hard off the ball as much, but here I had to adapt quickly and I'm just thankful for everything they taught me. Is it good having coaches at the academy like Paddy and Darren, they've both worn the Palace shirt, they, they know what it's all about? Yes, it's, it's great to see them coming down to um, under 18s, helping us because they're experienced, they know what they're doing, they know what they're talking about, so it's just about listening and applying what they're saying on the pitch. And recently you've stepped up to join them in the first team training, how's that gone? Nah, it's been, I've loved every moment of it, learning from the best players in the Prem, lots of Zaha, Eze, um, Andros, so it's been good taking stuff that they do and playing it in my game as well. Yeah, I mean, Andros, from watching training, he's really good at encouraging the younger players, isn't he? Has he been good with you? Yeah, he's always been helping me, advising me, even when stuff are not going well, always encouraging me, tend to express myself and just do, do what I do to feel comfortable around the first team players. And saw so you talking to Boy Hodgson today after training. Has he been really helpful? Yeah, he's been helpful from the jump, just, just telling me I got here for a reason and I'm here for a reason, so just keep doing what I'm doing. Just keep focused, keep working hard, and yeah, hopefully I can stay here. So it's the start of April now, we've got like less than two months of the season. What, what's your aim for the next few weeks? My biggest aim probably to get on the bench for the first team in the Prem and just continue scoring goals for the 23s and hopefully win the league with the 18s.